current time is um, somewhere around like 5 a.m. and we are in Walmart getting some stuff for what should be a, a pretty awesome fishing challenge. So these are our rods for today. These are what we're gonna be fishing with. We just picked up some new sticks. I love picking up new gear. That's mine, that's Perix, that's Rob's, and we're picking up an extra as well. Yo, here's the Walmart come up, got the white monster, got the Naroko razor. That's really gonna come into play. And then I also got my uh, brand new setup, looking fresh. morning you up you ready to crack them you're the only kid i've ever known that just shows up to gary allen's ranch and just doesn't care <laughs> here we got you one of these all right <laughs> that's, that. that's, that's mine that's, that's mine my... there you go yes here. we're here at yamamoto's ranch with hello kitty poles all right so this is my frog and stick for today actually it's not that thin it's probably like six pounds you could drop oh this is gonna be fun that's actually not that feels like decent line tighten the drag you want to test it so we gotta so that's ma that's max drag <laughs> okay, okay okay don't spool me now what are you a marlin oh that's a banging i have faith in this dude okay we're ready to fish Hello Kitty in action. Check that out. It's Perrick and Charlie Evans in the Ninja Girl boat and it's Rob and I in the Lunkers TV boats. We can only use these rods. We're gonna do best five largemouth. Crazy stuff could happen. There are 13 pounders in here. There's 14 pounders here. Doesn't mean we're gonna catch them, but if I were to catch one and it would be on this rod, I would absolutely freaking lose my mind. So let's hope we catch one. <laughs> oh God, this right on the roof. Did you see that? Challenge has started now. It's game time, full effect mode. Try, I want to try that point. I got one bite on this, maybe two. I'm not really sure. I'm going to switch up tactics now. We're going to try deep, maybe get that quick limit. Um, it's kind of quiet because we're a little worried what the other guys are doing right now, what Charlie and uh, Turtle Boy Wonder are doing. So we got we to gotta adjust. We got to adjust accordingly here. I'm going to throw a drop shot. Yes. Drop shot hooks. I got them. Drop shot hooks. I got that. Well, there's one. Got him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, no. Woo! Is there no size limit? No size limit. Dude. No size limit. Yes. <laughs> what? First fish in the well. We're off to a good start. God. Oh, you can see the bait. Oh. Do you have your hydro wave? Get him riled up, dude. Look at that. Okay. Wish we had a moving bait. Okay, got one. Yep. I'm on. There you go. I'm on. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. I don't know. Maybe it's small. I don't know. It's definitely not a dink. You want me to grab him? I don't know. Oh, he's not giant. Well, do you want me to grab him or no? No, I got it. Oh, it's a good one. Oh my God, it's a good one. You got him? No, yeah. oh, don't grab behind it. Oh don't. my God. Wait till he comes up. I didn't even have it. Yes, dude. Oh <laughs> Woo. Woo. Dude, I've never been so excited over a two pounder before. My Look how he ate that. That is my first good fish of the day. Absolutely engulfed the drop shot. Like, abs oh my God, like he ate it so good. I want to put Okay, he did happen to eat the hook pretty good, so I'm gonna put in the well just for now, just so you can calm down. Then once we find the pliers, I'm gonna do some surgery. The day started off pretty slow. Rob and I kind of struggled to find some sort of shell bite. We've moved off deep now. We happened to stumble upon some schooling fish that were busting. I just randomly threw my drop shot down there and uh, hooked into like what is probably like a two and three quarter pound fish. We're using finesse tactics today. I'm using like really tiny drop shot hooks. I just had one and I already lost it. That's how tiny they are. Here's how small the hooks we're using. I'm not even sure if you guys can see that, but it's small. With that, we're using our little kid casters rods. I've got the Hello Kitty. We're basically just drop shotting. Drop shotting with small hooks, grass weights. He's using like a small four inch worm. I'm using a larger, about six and a half inch worm just to go for like a different presentation. I really like this color too. It's a perfect color for this water clarity. Haven't heard much from those guys over there. Doesn't mean they're not catching them, but usually if Perry's got a big one, he lets everyone know about it. So we're just kind of going with the flow here. Got it. 
Okay, I just removed the hook from the fish that I just caught. The good thing about small hooks is they're very easy to get out of a fish's gut or mouth. That guy was actually gut hooked. Just cut the line and pulled it through. He should be good to go. Pro tips with your host, John B. How you feeling about this drop, drop shot bite still? Fine. Fine? Okay, good. I'm gonna keep tying it on. Man, that's some strong line. Mm, that's some banging. Oh, don't do that. I'm, okay, wow, I just pulled up this log. Dude, with this rod. Look, it just came off. Hey, you like that? That's a bagging. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really impressive. I, no joke, just pulled up that entire tree with what I'm guessing is probably some, just some stock six pound test. We didn't change out the line on this. That's actually, <laughs> I did not expect to do that. Wow, mind blown. Did you? Yeah. Docks are key for drop shots. Whoops. You got him. Yep. Oh! Stay down, stay down. Stay down. <laughs> yes! <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a good fish. We needed that so bad. Whew. On. Really? Yep. Oh, that. Little bass. I think it's the one that just jumped out. I think it's something that's I don't know what to say. Uh, that's the one we're calling, I guess. <laughs> like, I didn't even touch that fish. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna switch baits. How many pro tips do you think Perrick's given on that boat already? Probably too many to count, right? If I would have guessed, I'd probably say right around 12 or 18. <laughs> oh, yes. Chatterbait time, baby. Fish? Biggin? Oh, it's it'll call. It yeah. Oh, yeah, we're yes, there we go. We are dropped. That's good. Here. That's a good call. We just called out a one ouncer. Rob is cleaning up the numbers with the drop shot. I'm looking for a big bite on on a chatterbait. Rob and I are a little bit unsure as to whether or not Charlie and Perrick have a pattern. They're doing a lot of a lot of this, a lot of bouncing around the spots. I'm not gonna, you know, sound too cocky here, but at least we're on to something. We're calling fish, yeah. Um, granted the fish we're calling are huge, but take it all day. So I'm looking for that that uh, that 10 pounder that Parrick lost with this chatterbait. Rob is still throwing the drop shot, search, searching him out. And hopefully we can maybe stumble upon some bigger fish. I think it's gonna actually take a pretty big weight to win. These pads look good, too bad we can't frog them. If I had my big old flipping stick, maybe I'll just try to flip them. Just get the bite and then break off instantly. Oh, did you guys see that? I just cast my chatterbait off into the uh, great horizon. You know what? That was Rob's chatterbait. <laughs> Thanks Rob for the, yeah, well, whoops. We need those. Oh, I got one. Yeah, I'm on. Oh no. I think I might call. No. Is he still on? He's still on. God, dude. He's on the pad, dude. Oh. I don't think I've ever worked that hard for a one inch bass before in my entire life. Perfect hook set and everything. That's a. Did, would that even call? I don't know. Oh God. I just spent 30 minutes trying to get this fish out of the life. Well, I'm so glad we grabbed him because that is the world's smallest fish. We just called this sucker out. Flair is screaming wildly because he would have loved to have caught that fish. <laughs> Bam. Oh man. Oh God, I got it. I had a good one, dude. Oh no, I got him still. Just kidding. That was not a good one. God, he hit it like a champ. There he goes. Not what we want. Not what we want. Wrong size, wrong species, wrong everything. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. In the grass. I saw him. I saw him. Oh, he's not giant. We'll take him though. We'll take him. We'll take him. We'll take him. Can you go call him? Yeah, you want to call that fish real quick for me? I'm going to cast right back in there. How am I supposed to catch a six pounder with a cast like that? That's more like it. Yep. Fish? Good in? Oh no. Oh, dude, it's running out there. Oh, that's a good one. We need that one so bad. Here we go. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna get that Nice job. Nice job. So clutch. How big is your biggest? Okay, the uh, Hello Kitty Ninja Turtle Paw Patrol rod challenge is over. It's time. It's 12 p.m. We're not gonna wear a fish. We're at the dock now. 
We're now gonna weigh fish. I'm on edge right now. The last few minutes of all these challenges, I'm always on edge. Don't know who's got this. I'm not sure if it's them, I'm not sure if it's us. I did see them catch a giant though, so. That is something to worry about. Otherwise, I haven't seen any of their fish, really. I've seen like maybe one or two of their fish. I honestly have no clue. I'm not sure if they have any clue. I'm sure they're pretty confident, but I still think we have a decent bag. We, we didn't have any drop shot material. We had one bait. Whoa! Oh, okay, that's a four-pounder. 101. Oh, nice! 201. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. 21? Two, two, 201, yeah. He's skinny. Yeah, well. Oh, nice. Oh, no, this is uh, just under a pound. <laughs> what? What is it? Just under a pound. 15? No, it's 9.3. Uh, yes. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Giant. That was the last minute fish, wasn't it? Yeah, this is the last minute one. 1.72. 1.72. 1.72. All right, you ready? Yeah, oh, nice. Oh, nice. 2.82. Two, two, two. I told you close to three. Close to three. 2.82. Two. Two. All right. 2.2. Two two. Two two. All right. Yep, two two. What do, what, do, what do we need? Is there another one in there? What do we need? I don't know. I don't know. You think this one's three pounds? <laughs> oh my god. That's a tank. Is that the last one you guys yeah. had? Five point six oh. two. Oh. They, definitely oh. Oh. they definitely have us that last fish. They needed three pounds right before that last fish to beat us. Wait till you see the video. That was a five pounder. We are 13. 13 pounds? Yeah. You guys had 13? Just didn't work out, guys. Yeah, a drop shot for the first half and a little Nico rig in the second half. I guess they're using a very similar tactic as well. You guys are using a little trick worm, right? Yeah. That's it right there. Bam, bam. And uh, really small hooks. They didn't want anything super aggressive, but it was super hot. This is the setup. It's a little kid's caster. Rob's using a Paw Patrol because that's his favorite TV show. Uh, Peric and them are using the Ninja Turtle, of course, because they're in the Ninja Turtle boat. They're in the Ninja Turtle boat. Are you going to wrap yours with the Hello Kitty? Is that mm. what? Yeah, you should. Okay, so if this video gets <laughs> how many likes? I don't know. How many likes? This video needs 10,000 likes for Rob to wrap his boat in a Hello, like in this pattern, Hello Kitty pattern. 10,000 likes. Please. I, that's it? That's it. I want you guys, please, to, okay, so anyway, moving on. So this is a setup we're using, this is a kid's caster. You may notice something kind of weird about this rod. There's no guides. It's telescopic, so you can go like that, and your rod's ready to fish with. The whole idea behind this is tangle free, so anglers like Peric aren't frustrated and boiling while on the water, and all they have to worry about is catching the fish. Folks, I was never We only had one of these rods each, so it wasn't like we could switch off rods and stuff like that. So we were basically using just this exact rod all day. This is not really meant for bass, but it's still fun to get out there with your friends and challenge each other. This is like my favorite challenge. It's a fun challenge, highly recommend it. Huge thank you to Kid Casters for allowing us to do this video. Um, sending down the boat to help us out. Uh, sending down Charlie to help Perrick fish because Charlie was really key for, uh, he, Perrick's had a drone in his hand. Expect more equipment to break here in a few minutes. Uh, that is all I have to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a link in the description below as to where you can buy this rod so you can challenge your buddies to a miniature bass fishing rod challenge. I don't know, there's gotta be a proper name for this because it's not, it's not tiny, a proper, this is, this is the tiny, tiny rod challenge. Tiny rod challenge. Tiny rod challenge. Tiny rod challenge. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep fishing. Seizure. Never stop. I don't know, you think this one's three pounds? <laughs> <laughs>